Hi students, in this video, uh, let us discuss the, top, uh, the chapter motion in a straight line and under this we will have a subtopic average speed. Now this is a concept that is related to JE mains. Okay. So now uh, what is average speed? We know that average speed is total distance travelled. Say suppose for example, you are moving from Chennai to Kwaimato, right? So the time taken, the total distance you have travelled. Okay, so from here you might have travelled, you might have travelled a distance of 4 meter from to point A1 and from here to point A2 you might have distance, you might have travelled a distance of 4 meters. So from A2 to C you might have travelled a distance of 8 meters. So upon summing up this total distance and the time taken at each interval will give me the average speed that is total distance travelled by total time taken. Your distances are denoted as S, so we take it as S1 plus S2 plus S3 and the time period is taken as T1 plus T2 plus T3 and this is the formula for average speed. Okay, So now let us look at the scenarios where we can use this formula in different formats under the concepts of G. Okay, So for this let us look at the first application that we have, very simple application. So a body travels the first half distance with v1 speed and second half distance with v2 speed. Okay, we have to calculate the average speed. So it is very uh, the problem becomes very simple if we solve the diagram like this. So let us consider that the object is traveling from point A to point B and total distance traveled is S, right? And this is your first half distance which is S by 2 and second half distance is S by 2. So here half of the distance is already given in the question, right? So S by 2, S by 2. V1 is the first velocity, V2 is the second velocity. And one important concept, since this is motion in a straight line, uh, distance, displacement, speed and velocity, both can be considered in general. So here one important factor that we should notice, time is not given, which is T is not given in the question if here t is an unknown factor, right? So from this given scenario, from this given conditions, we have to get the time t. We know that t is equal to d upon v. So from this, what is d is total distance. So for the first scenario, t1, what is the distance? Distance is s by 2. For t2, distance is s by 2. So if I substitute here, what happens? So s by 2 upon v1, s by 2 upon v2. So what is my formula? This is my Formula. So V average becomes S1 plus S2 by T1 plus T2. What is S1? S1 is S by 2 plus S by 2 by what is your T1? S by 2 by V1 plus S by 2 by V2. Take all your S by 2's common, so this gets cancelled. So 1 plus 1 by 1 by V1 plus 1 by V2. So if you simplify this, you will be getting 2v1 v2 by v1 plus v2. So this is an important, very basic formula. And this formula we will use when time is an unknown constant for us and velocity is given and distances is also given. If these parameters are given in the question, directly you can go and solve or apply this formula instead of doing all these formats. Yes, thank you.